Hey everyone, welcome to another Rock for Q video and something a bit different this time. We're actually going to be playing a game of snooker against my friend Nige. Uh, so Nige and I are both members of the snooker club and um, yeah, we have like a little group of us who play each other every so often and have occasional sort of leagues and cups and knockouts and all that kind of stuff. Um, and we have like a little handicap system going. But before we get started though, please do like the video if you do and subscribe to the channel if you're new and put the bell on to be notified when I upload a video. So yeah, I say it's uh, something a bit different. I'm hoping it's going to be something a bit more regular because I am starting to get more matches and uh, hopefully, you know, Nigel's kind enough to let me film it. Some people aren't keen and others, uh, I'm hoping others are and maybe after seeing this video, others might be saying, well, actually, actually that's all right. And I do a reasonable job at representing the match and don't just show my good shots kind of thing. So anyway, let's get started then. I, would, I should say that we, we do have a handicap system in play. Um, my handicap, the handicaps work the opposite of what your typical sort of golf handicaps work. So the higher the handicap, the technically the better player you are. So uh, my handicap is 14 and Nigel's handicap is seven. And that basically means that Nigel starts with a seven point lead. So I'm not showing every shot, I'm showing every shot that I feel makes a difference. So these are, these are very edited highlights. Uh, at some point I may put the unedited video up, I have got that basically ready, but I um, thought I'd put the edited highlights up first. Uh, so Naj uh, gets a, a, a red there, but uh, he's unlucky to can in the black uh, in such a way that it brings it off the pocket. So he takes on that red blue, uh, sorry, that long blue and uh, gets an unlucky kiss as it comes around the angles and, and uh, puts the cue ball back in the middle of the table, which gives me a decent starter. Um, so a nice little pot into the middle, dead straight, so I hold it for, well, I was hoping hold, hold to hold it for the blue, but I couldn't quite get through to it, so I had to take the green, and I was pretty straight on the green, so I couldn't do much. So now I'm looking at the, a plant, so the, the red on the left of the cluster is a plant, to the to the one to the sort of left of the pink, but uh, I get it all wrong and I actually hit the pink first, which uh, is not great. So basically gives Nige a pretty healthy lead. <laughs> uh, after a few shots, though, I do get that shot, but managed to clip the yeah, I managed to miss the uh, pot, which then uh, Nigel quite happily. Uh, capitalizes on and gets that uh, decent rest shot into the corner and uh, has this tricky tricky but very potable black to get and establish a very good lead in this match. Uh, he's a little unlucky with that cannon. It could have been it could have left him something easier. But he does have this red to keep on going with the break. And that is a nice pot. Manages to just uh, avoid the left middle pocket uh, and gets nicely on uh, a bought colour, basically, the yellow in this case, which is uh, slightly off its spot, but closer to the pocket, if anything. Still has to get the rest out, though. Nigel has to play quite a lot of rest shots in this match, partly because of, uh, you know, mostly because of, uh, 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 of safety, really, but um, sometimes uh, positional as well. Um, so yeah, had, had, takes on this long red to keep the break going, but doesn't quite get it. And um, where's that red going to stop? Is it going to make it a, make a shot for me, or is the yellow going to cover it into the pocket? I think the yellow doesn't quite cover it, so I get this uh, rest shot. But Nige now has a healthy twenty-two point lead in this match after starting with a seven-point lead. So uh, I've got a lot of work to do here to keep uh, keep in touch with him, really. But then Nige takes on that pot, which, uh, you know, pushed the ball out a little bit, but kind of leaves me this, uh, again, nice little starter to get another break going. Um, didn't quite run through far enough for this pink, but it is gettable. Oh, it's the brown, sorry, I think. It looked like a red <laughs> on this camera, but yeah, it's uh, brown. So I managed to get that brown in, so um, yeah. Just about left enough space to get through to that red past the two near the blue spot. 
but I didn't quite get round back on the pink like I wanted to, so I've got this brown. But I think I play safe here. Yeah, it's just playing a safety shot. It doesn't quite go well. I was hoping to get behind the blue and green, but I didn't quite get it right. Anyway, it's a bit of a safety exchange, uh, and this leaves me this double into the middle, which I get incredibly lucky. I mean, not incredibly lucky, but I get a little lucky that I get a kiss off that red so the, the, the double actually goes in. Um, but I'm not on really on a, a easy colour, so I just... Uh, I, I mean, I had a shot on that yellow, but it was hard. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but then Nige gets that really nice long red, uh, and he's unlucky to full ball cannon the pink. Any kind of half ball cannon on that pink, and he would have had a shot on it, I think. But it was pretty unlucky and uh, took on that brown, but knowing that he would probably leave it safe, which he did. Uh, so just a safety shot for me. Pretty pleased with this one. I did under, I did cut it, I did overhit it rather a little too much, but ended up nicely behind the brown. Well, I say behind the brown, blocking a shot to many of the reds from the with the brown, uh, and that kind of forces Nigel into a bit of a mistake. And um, yeah, it leaves me this uh, again another. Well, well, I should say another easy starter, but I miss it, uh, which is a shame. But a couple of shots later, I get another chance and pull off this shot, which I'm pretty happy with. <coughs> Completely not really intended, and I uh, get nicely on the black, and then also get the black in, but didn't quite get the cannon right on the pink. Uh, was hoping to sort of stay there, but move the pink away a little bit. But anyway, just pay a, play a containing shot. A few shots later, and I'm left with this one over the middle pocket, and whilst I couldn't pot it, I, I didn't pot it, I didn't want to pot it, I knew that I basically would have left it for Nigel if I didn't do anything with it. So I played a safety off it, and as you can see, I went in on the top left-hand corner. So not only did I give Nigel the four points, he potted the red anyway and uh, got nicely on this yellow. Uh, it's a pretty nice pot on that yellow. So he's got this long red door. Is this uh, is this a safety? No, he's taking this on. It wasn't a million miles away and gets, you know, the pink is there for the taking uh, and gets on it. But yeah, doesn't leave me much. I've got this shot into the middle, left middle. It's tough, but uh, I actually managed to get it in. I just about slow the cue ball down enough for the green. And can I get down the other end of the table and get something? Uh, nearly get a nice cannon on the red, but it wasn't what I was playing for, but it would have been nice if I'd cannoned it towards the pocket, but it didn't happen. So just a safety here, just a containing safety, but end up um, coming off the cushion a bit more than I wanted to. But back in it, only 11 points in it now. Nigel, now a couple of shots later, Nigel has this uh, cross the table to the middle pocket, and puts that in nicely. And then uh, some idiot stands in front of his own camera and blocks the view of Nigel's excellent pot on the blue and then has this red, which is a bit of a thin cut, but he manages not to quite get it, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but he's at least left it pretty safe. Um, a few shots later, he then has another chance along the cushion and gets that in, which is obviously a harder shot, but manages to get that in nicely. And uh, now he's sort of green or yellow and I think he takes yeah he takes the green on but no not quite and just kind of overcooks it a little bit because he comes away from the red see what he was trying to do to get behind the red but just overcooks it a little bit leaves me this long red which I actually just play a safety up I'm pretty pleased with safety actually which is why I left it in the cut uh, and managed to get nicely behind the blue for a snooker and then that just gives me a very uh, gentlemanly tap on the table. Uh, but not quite from uh, from the escape. So four to me, which is very valued four points. I end up missing that red, but a few shots later, I do get another chance. But it was tight to get past the black, and I messed it up. And yeah, gave away... You know, trying to force the pot, which probably wasn't on, gave away seven points rather than just playing a, a seat an easy safety and tucking in behind the pink, uh, tucking in behind the black. Uh, and then Nigel can pick up this, uh, what was a definitely a good shot, but picks up this um, nice pot of the cushion and then left with this tricky but potable green into the middle. 
but stands up on it straight away. Knew it was not going in, um, which is a shame. So 27 to 44, still got a lot of work to do. Um, Nigel gets the first pot on a colour, gets this. Sorry, no, he doesn't. Beg your pardon. Oh, yeah, this is a, a snooker exchange. So Nigel, Nigel um, this is an exchange of fluky snookers, basically. So Nigel misses that pot, but then manages to get a second prize with me in this snooker. So I have to come off the top cushion, or the bot cushion, rather, and get the hit. And no, I don't get a snooker, but I'm pretty pleased with that. I managed to get it safe. Um, pretty. Uh, this, this is another safety shot I'm pretty happy with. Uh, I left in, nearly going off, but just about get it round and uh, nicely on the cushion. I, you know, I've left the yellow in the open, but that would be a tough pot, so Nigel doesn't take it on, and then replies with this really, really excellent safety shot, which uh, unfortunately, no, oh, there he is, he stands out of the way. So yeah, pretty much couldn't get much more distance between the few ball and object ball. But after that safety exchange, uh, I do get the first chance and manage to pot that yellow but didn't really manage to get anywhere near a pot on the green. So I do think I take a pot on, but yeah, nowhere near, uh, which means that the white and green could go anywhere. And I'm kind of a bit lucky that I don't leave anything easier than this for Nigel. But a couple of shots later, he does get this chance to squeeze this green past the brown. Can he do it? Plays it with a bit of top left-hand side to come up and down the table, which is pretty nice. But doesn't quite get enough. Um, so the brown, I don't think, is cuttable from this angle. So uh, he does try. I think he does try, but doesn't quite get it. Uh, gets a, So this is the, the lucky snooker exchange. So, yeah, he, he gets a snooker there off that missed pot. And then I managed to escape from the snooker nicely and managed to land. It was probably my best ever snooker, which I was not intending. But, uh, but never mind. Yeah, not far off from Nigel, but not quite. Nearly a bit more pace, and I think it was on the line to come back and hit it, to be fair. Which I think is what I'm saying to him there, but not quite. This leaves me this chance of the brown in the middle. And should be easy enough to get on the blue from here. Sorry, my parrot's just screaming. Um, yeah, so could have done with it being a bit further off the cushion, but got this blue, and... Should be a fairly natural to get... Well, no, I've actually played it with topspin. Oh, yeah, this is... Um, I'm pretty pleased with this. It's one of my best positional shots, I think. Played it with topspin and came down from the pink, which is why it was gutting when I missed this easy pink and managed to get on the black, um, which would have been victory for me. So as it is, I'm five points behind with uh, obviously 13 left on the table. So basically, uh, Nigel needs one of these balls and I need both of them. But I managed to get that pretty long pot in couldn't do a huge amount with the cue ball, but I left myself with a chance, even though it's a rest chance. And I managed to steer that in. And uh, I can't believe that. Uh, I mean, I'm obviously chuffed that I managed to get that in. Uh, I managed to take victory, and Nigel graciously shakes my hand. Uh, but yeah, all good, and all good fun. And uh, yeah, we played a, a couple more frames, so I'll keep an eye out for those coming up, maybe another one at the weekend, and I'll see you in the next video.